Okay, super welcome everybody. So this is weekly live and today's topic is targets. So for those who are new here, uh, welcome and I go live weekly and I take one topic related to uh, getting plans, booking more plans. So there is there are four steps that will help you to book plans. First is traffic, second is leads, four pillars you can say. First is traffic, second is leads, third is nurturing, and fourth is booking calls, actually booking calls. So I take one topic every single week, subtopics sometimes, and I explain, I give steps, I explain slides, I explain all the uh, you know gaps possible, and I give seven days action plan so that you can reach one step closer to your goal, which is achieving uh, booking more calls. So for those, those who are new, I, you know, uh, go live weekly and do this weekly live. It's not a recorded video. It's a live video. I'm live here. And today we are going to talk about rapid scaling systems target. So rapid scaling system is the name of my system. Uh, so let's get started. It's seven. And I hope you have completed the homework from the last three weeks, two weeks. And if we haven't completed then go back to those lectures, watch them again. Again, I'm telling you, this is something that I haven't seen any person on Facebook, any Facebook group is going live every single week and teaching all the things which they are learning every single week. Okay, so this is something which is more than my paid stuff. So it's up to you. If you have to take it seriously, take it seriously. If you want to just watch and forget, then watch and forget. So let's get started because when I started on Facebook, let me tell you, quick story when i started on facebook or when i started my uh what you can say digital marketing journey there was nobody who was doing something like this and i would have happily paid someone thousands of dollars if they were you know teaching something like this i'm not telling this is you know uh you should you know extremely take uh you know you should pay me immediately money and you know take all the notes and all and all you are already doing something. You are already at a stage where in entrepreneurship, in coaching business, in service business, where you are having some difficulties. And by watching this and doing all these things that I'm telling you to do, because I'm spending thousands of dollars out there to learn these things. And I'm giving you all of these things free. And if you hire me as a coach, then believe me, 70, 80% are all the same things that people are teaching outside there. And I'm also going to, of course, I'm also going to teach the same things that I'm teaching here. But the difference is I will hold you one to one and there are lots of depth that you know varies from uh, niche to niche. So that's the difference. But of course, basics are same and that's what I'm covering here. So if you want to pay attention, pay attention, do the homework. And I'm telling you, if you just follow all the steps that I'm telling here, you can definitely get, you know, book six, seven, eight calls per month like this, like this, I'm telling you. And yeah, let's let's get started. So there is one request of person who want to join the group. Uh, okay, let me take your name. Welcome. So let's get started. Uh, oh, let me check my audio and video. <laughs> uh, and video. Okay, I'm audible and everything is good let me say oh last time when i went live you know there was some glitches okay let me let me change the color because we are going to start huge let it be everything is good everything is good let's get started so rapid scaling system targets now why you need to set targets why it's important as a business owner owner uh I'm sharing my weekly practices and all practices that I'm doing. Target setting targets is a part of my practices. Let's go to the next slide. Even though you know everything, why are you not achieving your goals? This is the question that I want you to ask yourself that uh, if you ask me, uh, if you put me in 2021, 2022, I've been attending lots of webinars, lots of seminars. And I was thinking that, you know, I know everything and why these people are charging thousands of dollars for the things that I also know. I am not going to give them money. I'm not going to spend $3,000, $5,000 in achieve, you know, uh, hiring a coach for me who is going to teach me everything that I know. You know, I know, I know all the things. This is something that I used to think. And this is something 
I think lots of people think I know what he is doing, I know what she is doing, and why I should hire. But let me tell you, the people who overtook me, these people are the people who invested in themselves and they just hired a coach. And you know what the coach did? The coach gave them direction with target, with syllabus. And that's why they were able to hit their goals faster than me. So there is something that is missing. And there are lots of things actually that, are, that which are missing. But setting targets is one of the most important thing that you have to focus on. If you are a business owner, if you are a coach, consultant, service business, if you are running any kind of business, setting targets is extremely important. If you see any successful coach or any successful businesses, companies, if they have experience in doing jobs and all and all, then you might have seen people, uh, CEOs, founders, they give weekly targets to their employees. Why? Why they? Why salespeople have targets? Why marketing team has targets? Targets are extremely important. And as a solo business owner, nobody, you know, uh, if you do not have any experience in working in companies, then you have no idea about setting targets and why it's important. And that's why you're not setting targets for yourself. And that's why you're not hitting that goal. So it's a very, very small part, but it is going to change your business from, you know, basics. It is something that is a foundation again of any business, setting targets to track where are we heading? What is the progress? So even though you know everything, why are you not achieving your goals is because you're not setting targets to achieve those goals. It's pretty simple. You know all the practices that you have to do, but you're not doing those practices and nobody's telling you to, you know, complete all the tasks. You are like opening your Instagram or Facebook or any social media every single week, every single day, and you're just doing all this stuff randomly. There is nobody, no, you do not have any boss and that's why, you know, you're not attending, you're not achieving that goals, that targets. And same was happening with me when I started in 2020. Me and my friend, we set a goal, like we will achieve this, uh, you know, $100,000 by the end of 2022. And we were just, you know, hitting this office and doing all the tasks, whatever possible, randomly, no tracking, nothing. Everything was flop show. And then we hire a coach and then things were you know, going smoothly because we have weekly targets as well. And if we do not achieve these targets, we go strict on ourselves. He goes strict on our, uh, us. So it's very important. So even if you are not working for any business or company, you must set targets for your own goals. Right? So it's a question for you. If you're watching this, press live, hashtag live. If you're watching this replay, put comment hashtag replay so here's a question for you if you know all the steps methods and secrets to get clients why are you not hitting your revenue goals i'm talking about revenue goals so many people i talk in the messenger i they tell me that Tanmay, i know how to do this in in linkedin as well Tanmay, i know how to you know get more impressions uh, how to book calls, how to, you know, I'm, you know, booking that many calls and I'm doing this and all and all these practices. And then where are your revenue goals? If you're booking 20 appointments, why are you not hitting revenue goals? What is happening? What is something that is missing? You're not setting targets. You know all the steps and we're, we are going to talk about steps as well. Let's go to the next step. So why are you not achieving your revenue goals is because you don't, I've been there. You don't have weekly and monthly targets. Look simple weekly and monthly targets you know but you have to set them for each task we'll go deeper into that so you're running randomly without analyzing this is something that i've been seeing on internet every single day people are just following the crowd and they're just posting content and they're doing everything they are creating reels and they're creating content and everything is random and nothing no tracking nothing 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 so whatever niche you are into remember set weekly targets extremely important if you're watching this and if you're not doing this this is the biggest mistake in this <laughs> your business you're going to do if you're not setting weekly targets i'm telling you i have invested money in the first thing in the first month my coach told me to set targets it's very important if you also invest in some biggies six thousand dollar nine thousand dollar they're going to you know refine everything and going to give you targets then this is this is something that you have to do in this week this is this is something that you have to do in month and i'm telling you this totally for free so take it seriously, set weekly targets, set monthly targets, track results, results, whatever you have been, you know, doing for on this internet track results.
how your content is performing what were uh, the reach of your last reel and how many people were you know engaging and uh, how many calls did you book in the last week every single thing should you know be tracked uh, you sh you must tracking every single thing whatever activities you are doing on a daily basis on this internet on your business you should track that, those activities so track results it's very 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 important and take action accordingly and that's how, that's the 30000 feet view of this tracking so let's let's go more deeper into that uh, this is the sentence that all the successful entrepreneurs have specific goals and targets you take any any person you ask them they'll tell you the importance of setting goals it's very important um yeah let's go to the next uh, page before that let me see and let me check if we are audible and if we are visible again sometimes i don't know what happens to this internet if we are audible and if we are wow. visible again. this time good so let's go to the next step next slide okay uh how to set targets and achieve them interesting simple okay you have to set target but how to set targets no, it's pretty simple all you have to do is okay for those who have their own processes those people who are in this group who have their own niche different different processes who are into business who are into business and uh, helping other business coaches or who are giving services related to business they have their own own process this, this is my process and if you have your own process uh, these are my pillars if you are someone who is not following my path then set your own pillars set the end goal for the month and take one pillar for one week and this is how you are going to you know set the targets okay let me just have a sip of water and those who are following my path to book calls here are our pillars traffic leads nurturing book calls every single week what we are going to do that's what we are doing we are going to take one pillar and we are going to go all in into that pillar so that we'll move forward to the next pillar then next pillar and then we'll have calls that's what the process looks like simple okay no complications if you are not someone who is following my process you must have your own process just convert that into the pillars set the end goal for the month that can be anything whatever end result you want and take one pillar for one week let's go to the next step end goal uh yeah so once you set the pillars these are my uh, business pillars set the end goal so end goal can be let's say in our case book eight calls at the end of the month that's what you want right you want to book calls so for that again we are, what we have to do is we have to take one pillar one week and we have to go all in so that we can move forward from traffic to leads from leads to nurturing to nurturing to book calls step by step you are going to go ahead if you want to book 80 calls that is also possible actually not possible <laughs> but you know if you want to book more calls you have to go you know deeper into this uh, each pillar and you have to just work more so pillar one for one week traffic is the first pillar we are going to take target let's say it, uh, we set the target for the for pillar number one which is traffic is 2000 impressions then at the end of the week we are going to analyze what went right and what not so if you talk about my uh last 20 days i got around 5000 impressions because i was not focusing on this pillar i was focusing on this pillar uh pillar number four booking calls i was booking more calls so that's why the pillar number one went weak and it doesn't matter so i can increase these impressions to 10 000 15 20 000 whatever so same way all you have to do is focus on traffic and go all in into traffic target for week is 2000 impressions and how to you know uh, get these 2000 impressions in the last lecture we have talked about how to get traffic how to get more and more traffic there are lots of ways you can achieve these 2000 impressions what will happen in a week if you achieve 2000 impressions 2000 impressions means you will have 2000 new eyeballs 2000 people watched or you know consumed your content which is a good thing in a week that means in a month you'll have around 8000 impressions which is a good thing which is a good goal you'll have more and more traffic traffic is the first step to book calls more people would have consumed your uh, content by the end of the month so next step is you have to go to the second pillar which is leads and you have to convert out of this 2000 impressions your goal is to convert some of the traffic into leads okay 
the same for the remaining weeks in the week two you are going to take the second pillar which is leads and then you are going to go to the target and you're going to set a target that i want at least 70 80 leads out of those 2000 impressions now how are you going to do the leads there are lead generation strategies we haven't covered that but you might have your own strategies and you can go all into those strategies as well or we will cover these lead generation strategies as well so out of 2000 impressions out of 2000 traffic per week if you manage to get 70 80 quality leads then it's a good win then you can go to the third pillar that is nurturing and you can start nurturing those 70 80 leads you have to exclude all the all the traffic and you have to focus only on leads at that time because you have converted this you know uh, 2000 traffic into 70 80 leads and then you're going to nurture those 70 80 people and you're going to move them to book calls and that's step by step every single week you're going to focus on each goal and you're going to achieve the targets this is the straightforward, simple process that we have to follow. And that's what I told, I tell my clients to do as well. Of course, there is something, but you know, you got the point. So same for the remaining weeks, and this is how step by step you hit your goal. That is the process. So what happens when you take a specific pillar for each week? You know where to focus and what to achieve at the end of the week. Let me tell you, when I did not have these pillars what I was doing, okay, my normal day. I used to wake up, or I used to think that now what type of content I have to create. I used to create some type of content, then post that content on Facebook, post that content on Instagram, post that content on LinkedIn, add some stories. Then I used to add a few people, like I used to, you know, attend a lot of webinars and these people used to tell that you have to add people. Okay, this is a traffic strategy. You can add more and more people every single day. So at random time, I used to, you know, add people. And then I used to, you know, start messaging them towards strategy. And then I used to, you know, engage with them. Everything was random. So tell me how I'm going to manage or how, how I'm going to track my progress if everything was is random no idea what i'm doing just doing for the sake of doing because i was listening to 200 coaches out there and every single person is doing i was just copying them not not gonna work step by step framework that should be a process so when you take a specific pillar for each week you know where to focus and what to achieve at the end of the week for example again let me revise if you take one pillar this week let's say let's say uh, it's week number three and your pillar is nurturing. What you're going to do is you're going to spend less time on traffic, you know, getting more traffic, less time on getting more leads and more time in nurturing those generated leads so that you can move forward. That's the main goal of, you know, setting targets for each week for each pillar. You are going to focus on the particular task and that's how you are going to complete that particular task. Okay. So, and that does not mean you have, you are going to, uh, you're not going to work on other things, but you can put peak hours on the most important thing. That is pillar. Peak hours means uh, my morning hours are peak hours and my evening hours as well. So I'm more productive in this uh, morning and evening, like you know, 7, 8 p.m. So this is something that I do my most important part. So same way, you are going to focus on your pillars. So after this, I'm going to focus on my pillar. So let's go to the next step. Here's what people are doing. Okay. Uh, most common habits, most common uh, observation on Facebook. Okay, and this is on Facebook and LinkedIn. So randomly creating content without any specific goal in mind. Even though people on LinkedIn, they have a specific goal, but I don't know what they are doing, uh, why they are not booking calls. If, if, you know, they are consistently posting 30 days per month, I don't know what is happening. Actually, I know this, this is, this is the missing piece targets. They are, they don't have any pillars. We don't know the process of moving traffic into uh, booking calls because they don't have that process. So randomly creating content without any specific goal in mind. If you are active on Facebook, I spend a lot of time on my, uh, a lot of time on Facebook. So you might have seen lots of people posting content just for the sake of posting content. They have no idea what this content is going to bring. Content, you have to post content. There are multiple uh, reasons why people are posting content. But content is something which is your main pillar, main 
right hand of your online business which is going to give you immense traffic if you do it right in a right way content is equal to traffic content is going to give you lots of traffic and of course it is going to build your brand as well so people are doing this randomly i'm observing i'm literally observing i told people to not to do this still i don't know then no specific hours for creating and distributing content there should be specific hours to create content consume content and distribute content extremely important if you want to run a profitable online business your brain cannot do all the things like you know any time you cannot consume like i consume in the morning hour because for 30 minutes i just listen to the videos uh, my expert videos and all and all uh, people who are you know my idols and all and all i follow them i read their articles emails i consume in the first hour of my morning routine and then i start the next work so no specific hours for creating this distrib distribution is very important i distribute uh, if you have following me on facebook then you might have seen every day from last 300 400 days every single day i post one twitter screenshot in the morning how i'm able to do this for next last 400 days because i have a routine and i know i create i have this plan in my to-do list that i will not start my you know engaging or replying to comments and all and all unless and until i distribute that one twitter screenshot before noon that's how i start my internet that's how i start my social media journey every single day by distributing this post this twitter screenshot before noon and evening four or five times a week i distribute long form or mid form posts this is my timing morning and evening morning and evening specific times i do not post in the afternoon i do not post in late post post uh, after office hours as well so routine specific routine and talking about giving engagement there is different time i have allocated for engagement which is afternoon time which is something where my mind is a little slow so i just consume i just watch uh, do my research and give engagement and you know other other tasks then no specific strategy to reach the end goal uh, first thing people do not have end goal and also they do not have a specific strategy like i was also doing that mistake like i was just running 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 behind the uh, numbers which is not good you have to set a specific goal we talked about goals and targets here and this is something which is happening with new new people newbies no direction no process no framework and this is killing their business and you have to take this seriously today or tomorrow you have to have processes you have to have direction so that you can speed up into that direction like that guy who just went here from and from here okay setting your day now let's talk about setting your day as well i need to change my light ah it looks good we have changed the slide so that's why we are going to change the color of light setting your day now how you are going to set the day there is no success without routine discipline focus it's a statement but this is true you have to have a routine like i told you that my routine of posting distributing creating content i create content at uh, i i also do batch create content and i also write every single day as well not every single day but four or five times a week uh, after my gym uh, that is 6 15 6 20 is the time pm uh, is the time that i start writing my posts so there is no success and that time after that i post that so there is no success without routine discipline and focus if you want to run an online business profitable online business there should be routine there should be discipline there should be focus there should be framework there should be processes okay and uh, yeah the image says it all create a time box for those people who do not have idea about what time box is if you want to set your day like a successful entrepreneur then you have to use this concept of time box what is the concept of time box here is the time box time box is something this is my time box it looks empty because i have deleted a lot of tasks from this this is okay what you have to do let me explain how you are going to use this time box you have to create this excel sheet if you want this excel sheet uh, drop message excel sheet and i'll drop this excel sheet as well so that you don't need to create any new excel sheet 
top priority is what you have to do initially brenda this is the section of brenda you have to when you open your pc in the morning whatever ideas or whatever tasks in your head in the morning dump them here like find landing page buyers so create content message xyz to get in touch with xyz go live and all and all so all the activities that you have to do throughout the day dump, dump them here okay then pick top priorities and put them here like send email or uh, call melissa or you know create content for xyz these are top priorities three four top priorities that you have to do and put them here so that you will have idea about what to do you know what are my most important tasks that i have to complete by you know uh, in my peak hours where my focus is more like uh, at the start of the day and then you are going to you know assign those tasks here like this is time 9 am 10 am 11 am 12 pm before 12 pm what tasks you have to do you can just put them here after that you know uh, in the more in the afternoon hours in the evening hours what you have to do so you can see post post in the evening so that's that's how you are going to you know assign each time hour for a specific task and you are going to complete those tasks more likely to complete of course uh you're human you're not a robot you're not going to you know complete all the tasks like but if you do then you know you will be the most disciplined and focused person and you will achieve your goals fast this is how you are going to start your day this is something that you should do actually at least for 30 days you know take this challenge i'll tell you i'll tell you you'll progress a lot a lot a lot if you have routine, if you have you know specific, uh, if you set your specific hours for specific uh, tasks, this is something that experts do. So before noon, do the most IMP, three IMP tasks. That's what I do. Uh, noon, do the less IMP tasks. Evening, or the whatever, whatever the ways you want to uh, you know, set your day. But use this time box con uh, concept. It's very powerful. It will definitely help you. And then have a routine, have a discipline, have a focus. And of course, set targets, set pillars. Okay, this is very, 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 very important. Set pillars, set the end goal for the month, take one pillar, one week, go all in, focus on that pillar. Okay, so that's how you have to, you know, start your day, start your end your week, end your month. Okay, and now you know what you have to do. Mm, I'm going to do the homework. There are some people who are doing homework. There are some people who are doing homework. For those, uh, take one pillar. Again, this is traffic. I think if you're following my routine, uh, my framework, then it's traffic. If you want to book more calls, this is what you have to do. Take the traffic pillar, set the target, 2,000 impressions, 3,000 impressions, 5,000 impressions in the week. And do whatever you want to do to get those impressions. Hit that target and share the screenshot in the group. I'll myself, you know, get in touch with you if you do this. Okay, so this is the homework for the week. And it's 28 minutes. We have completed all the slides, and I hope this helps. Everything is simple, no complication. Even if you want to scale to ten thousand dollar per month, which is I'm about to hit per month. So all you have to do is just follow the path. Just just do all the things, and there is no complication. There is no such a thing like you know a uh, secret strategy or something like this you know i have been you know all all the people all the biggies everything is simple just start doing all the things properly even if you post content for um let's say let me remove this even if you post content for the next 90 days consistently still you'll progress a lot because you're doing one thing consistently every single day which is a huge 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 achievement Posting a content straightforward in 90 days is not easy. So, because it will test you a lot. It will test your patience. It will test your discipline, your focus, writing, batch, creating content and all and all. So, look how you can achieve your targets. I have given you the direction. Don't go out of place. If you want to still do the guesswork, you can do the guesswork. But I think you don't need to. So, see you in the next week. Complete the homework. And bye-bye. Happy weekend.